Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. Got to tell you right up front, this is not a cast. This is a relatively short game that I'm going to watch passively while I do a real life ramble. Um, I'm just going to talk about me and things that are going on and things that I think. So if you want to stick around and listen and watch with me, you are more than welcome to. And if you're looking for a cast, you probably want to go to the video previous this one and that will have what you are looking for. So. Today, I really wanted to talk about the recent trend, I guess not necessarily so recent, but it's been getting stronger as time goes on, the trends towards being comfortable with your body, which on a certain level I agree with and totally love the idea of, and on another level I think is kind of disastrous if you're not careful with the idea. And let me tell you a little bit about me over the last few years, and that'll give us a reference point for why I think what I think. This is a picture of skinny me. I am 17 or 18 years old at this point, and if you were to take a wild stab at what I weighed, uh, you probably wouldn't guess an accurate amount. I actually weighed around 185 at that point. I'm a big boy. I am husky. I'm a little over six feet, wide shoulders. I carry a lot of weight around. That is just how I do. And, uh, when I was younger, I was actually highly active. Um, I rode bikes with my family, my older or my younger brother, my dad and my mom, we would get together and we would ride hundred mile bike rides. We would go out for a century, drive out to an event, get on our bikes, ride a hundred miles in under six hours and go back home. And we did that. We rode uh, 10 or 15 miles a day three days a week, and then 25 miles or so, maybe 30 on the weekend. And, you know, I I was fit. I was active. And I was not happy with myself because I thought that I weighed way too much. I looked at my body and I'm like, I don't like what this looks like. And I don't think I have the type of body that a guy should have. And it just wasn't really good, although at that time I wasn't like actively convinced that I should be losing weight. And then once I stopped riding bikes, which I never should have, but I did, um, I stopped eating because I was absolutely positively terrified of gaining any weight. And that was not good because that's where you see skinny me. Um, I was only eating maybe 1,800, 2,000 calories a day, which is not enough for a expanding teenager I was filling out at that point and I kept getting skinnier and skinnier and no matter how skinnier I got I could never get rid of the muffin top and the gut and everything else that I didn't like so I just kept getting skinnier and even through people telling me that I looked fine I always took that as patronizing and was like well they're just trying to make me feel better so I'll eat something so I'm just not going to eat anyway because they all think I'm fat and that is where I really think that people should be wary of being okay with their body type. You should not feel uncomfortable in the skin that you're in. Um, You just got to accept the fact that different people carry their weight differently. Some people are more husky. Some people are just naturally skinny and you can't help it if you're not that way. So there's no reason to try to be something that you're not. And my parents actually did step in at that point. And they're like, look, you're just too skinny. You have got to eat something. You look unhealthy. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll eat stuff. And I stopped caring. But then it went the exact opposite direction because I stopped caring about what I was eating right at the time that I started working at a skating rink. So I had an unlimited supply of Mountain Dew and junk food. And I was went from eating not enough and not exercising to exercising a little bit and eating like 7,000 calories a day, which is very, very bad. And I started rapidly expanding, just kind of stayed in denial and established horrible eating habits, moved out on my own, didn't have anybody to make me eat my vegetables. And yeah, now we're here at today. You've seen my other videos. I weigh damn near 300 pounds at this point, and I am ashamed to say it, and it, it, it disappoints me to have to tell people that that's how much that I weigh and that's just unhealthy. And I wish that people had told me by the same, for the same reason that you shouldn't worry about it, that you don't have a body type that other people have and you should be okay with the weight you are. You need to turn around and say, well, as a caveat to that, you need to be healthy. 
and you can't eat whatever you want whenever you want and not exercise and do all this other stuff and then gain 50 pounds. And so I kind of am at the opposite end of the spectrum at this point and I could stand to lose 75 pounds. Now, take 300 with a grain of salt because my healthy weight would be around 215 or so. Um, so yeah, I'm not hundreds of pounds overweight at 300, but 300 is not healthy. My knees hurt all the time. My back hurts when I do too much stuff. It's just, it, it's painful. And it, it's sad that I can't go do things with other people that I want to do. And it's kind of started dictating how I live my life at this point. And that's, was kind of the final straw on, well, something's got to change here. And that's pretty much everything that I want to say to people. I, I This especially goes out to parents because I really wish my parents did some. They tried to talk to me some about healthy lifestyle. But I think parents need to be concerned less with self-esteem and with telling your children that their body is fine the way it is. Or even for members of society to tell each other that. The whole trend with, oh, you can weigh 350 pounds. You're beautiful in the skin you in, you're in. Well, as a person, you're not worth any less as a 350 or 400 pound person. I don't hold that against you, but it's unhealthy. I mean, we can flat out say that. it They are hurting themselves and it's not good. And, uh, you know, it it's kind of politically incorrect to say so, but somebody's got to say it because it's not going to turn out well for all these people who are packing on tons and tons of weight um like i was up till just a little while ago i've plateaued and with a little bit of motivation for my wife and coming to the realization that i just can't do this anymore um i have plateaued and actually come down a couple of pounds and my goal over the next couple of years I set it at two years. My goal is to be healthy. I'm not setting a weight loss regimen. I'm not setting an exercise regimen. I want to be able to run up a flight of stairs and not have to sit down when I get to the top. I want to be able to walk all day and not have my knees hurt so bad that I can't sleep at night. I want to be able to do things with my wife and with my friends that right now I can't do. I can't go certain places because it just doesn't work out. And I hope that some people who are listening to this will come to that realization with me. It's just not worth it. It isn't. You can build good eating habits. You can eat fruits and train your body to crave natural sugars. I was there at one point and I'm trying to get there again. You can become... You can cross back over that line to where it is okay to exercise or to even just go for walks like I'm doing now. And it's it's not going to kill you. Um, so if anybody gets anything from this video, it's basically that, yes, you need to be comfortable with the skin you're in. But at the same time, you can't you can't just overeat to epic proportions and not exercise because you will die one day. There are mu- there's tons of health problems, a list a mile long that comes with being overweight. And like I said, it's just not worth it. It is not worth it. So, yeah. That's a little bit about me, a little bit of my background, where I come from, and where hopefully I am headed to. And I'm actually looking forward to it a great deal. I want to start going and doing things with my wife. She's a very active person. She's engaged and engaging and she loves to live life and go explore places and do new things and see new things. And I want to be able to do that with her. And hopefully as we're doing these things, I have plans to kind of record it for you guys. Um, she is actually going to be joining the channel at some point during the summer. Once she gets things straightened out for herself, And she likes to do book reviews and some gaming stuff with more like story type games and some things like that. So it'll be a little bit of a branch out. I'll probably show up in hers and she'll show up in mine. And we we just kind of want to live life and catalog life. Life is good. It really is. It can be a fantastic experience if you don't let it drag you down. And that is where I'm trying to get away from. I'm trying to get away from it dragging me down 
not being able to do things that I want to do. So, I think that's about all that I had to say. This is actually a kind of funny game watching it in the background. It is right in the middle of the average Joe's rank range, averaging right around 1100 rank. And it's basically three one versus ones. And uh, the middle guy has died, as you can see, but Red is doing a phenomenal job of pushing hover tanks and other various and sundry things over to assist on this side, and Yellow is crushing it over here. So even for being down a player, these guys are doing very, very well, and that is a ghetto gunship. May only have two labs in it, but it is still a ghetto gunship because it's shooting the ground. So we're just going to let this game spool out. I think there's about four minutes left on it. Um... Yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this kind of thing. I know there's two sides to the internet. There's fat shaming, and there's you should be completely okay with anybody that you're in. And I think the truth lies somewhere in the middle. You don't want to... You never know what could be going on. I don't know how many of you watch Boogie um, Francis on YouTube, but he just put out a video a little while ago. Actually, I think it was yesterday. day before that? I'm not sure on the reason that he is as overweight as he is. And his life is a tragic story. Um, and some people are that heavy and they cannot help it. I mean, they could have traumatic events in their past. They could have a severe thyroid imbalance. I've seen people with that. You don't want to judge. Never, ever walk up to somebody or judge somebody from a distance that is 350, 400 pounds and just make a blanket statement about them being overweight and judge them for it. That's not good. And at the same time, don't give everyone a pink slip. There are some people who could be a whole lot healthier. Um, it's just kind of each person to his own. <laughs> and I think that's all I am going to say on that. I spy attack missile snipe. We're going to have to see how this pans out. If that is successful on blue, which I am assuming it's headed for, that is pretty much going to end the game for the Southern team because Red, I've got to hand it to DTR. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Durbov. Maybe Dirty Bomb? I don't know. Whatever his name is, he has done a beyond fantastic job of securing his teammates' expansion, being aggressive in two lanes, and circumventing his opponent's units to completely wipe out the eco of Grey. That was a very brilliant move. Well done on that one. So, actually at this point, I think the North is going to win. And there it is. Tack Missile Snipe. Castaway is dead as a doornail. Harlequin and Paradragon are okay, but they're over here in the water. And now that they're down, it's going to get very difficult because we've got no units over here. We've got a fully developed base over here and two lanes of red that are about to come cascading down upon these ACUs and we got no e no eco left to counter it. 4T1 mechs is all there is. think we're about to have a noble death here. He's going to walk to the front and take the bullets in the teeth and that's going to be the end of it. There it is, trying to overcharge. Actually, I think he was legit trying to get out of that. T1 bomber's coming down. Huge amounts of damage packing in from the Ilshavas. Trying to get away, but I don't think it's going to be possible. And he is vetting down. There's a control K, and there's the death. All right, that's going to wrap that up. That was a bit longer of a ramble than I really wanted to get into, but hopefully you can see where I'm at a little bit. It is good to share with people. It really is. Um, so hopefully, maybe you got something out of it. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up for me in this one. Please watch the other cast that's being uploaded. I do have a normal cast for today, so it's not just depressing video of me talking. So head on over there, and I will see you guys for a live cast on Saturday. Thank you so much for watching.